What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel and today we're talking about the 10 travel essentials that every guy needs. Now I travel probably, I don't know, eight or nine times a year. I'm going to the east coast to the west coast, meeting with friends and family, travel for work quite a bit. There are definitely some mistakes I've made when traveling. I've I've lost my luggage, I've paid extra baggage fees, I've gone over the weight limit. So I've found that if I'm going somewhere for less than seven days, that I just put everything in a carry-on and don't even worry about checking a bag. So today I want to go over the 10 essentials that you need to travel light, get where you need to get on time, and not worry about any of the extra headaches that go with checking a bag, losing your luggage, weight limits, extra fees, all that. We're going to avoid all that. All right, so let's get into it. All right, so tip number one is to have some sort of packing organizer. Now, I've read a lot of articles and seen a lot of videos that talk about compression cubes, and that's essentially where you put clothing into a bag and then you suck all the air out of it and it compresses it and it leaves a ton of space to pack. I've actually found those to be kind of a headache and what I like to use better are just simple packing cubes. These are usually very water resistant, dust and dirt resistant. They are mesh and they just organize all of your clothing really well. And the reason I like these better is because it leaves your clothes less wrinkled. You can fit quite a bit of clothing into it and you can organize it based on different sizes. So this one's a large size. I would probably put something like shirts or pants in here, a medium sized one right here, which you could put like underwear or socks or electronics. And then you have the small, the small one right here that you can use for your knickknacks, your miscellaneous items. But these fit really nicely into your carry-on and you can also just pull them right out of the carry-on and put them, if you're in a hotel or an Airbnb, put them right into the drawers and it'll protect your clothing from all of the dirt and dust that you got when you go into a hotel. I find this to be more efficient than rolling your clothes to pack them and it saves just about as much space. It's less wrinkle on your clothing and it's a lot more organized and I find you can pack and unpack much faster faster than if you were to roll all of your clothing or use some of those types of other tricks that I've seen in other videos. So these packing organizers, these specific ones I got from Genius Pack and actually I get all my luggage from Genius Pack. They, they sent me this luggage out to review. They're not paying me to talk about them. They did send me the luggage to review, but they're not gonna be able to view this video before I give my opinion, before I put it out on the internet. So yeah, this is gonna be my complete honest opinion. However, I have paid for Genius Pack products in the past and I already love them. So it's kind of a no brainer that I would review their products because I absolutely love everything that they do. They make traveling so easy. So check out Genius Pack. Let's move on to the next point. All right. All right, so tip number two is to bring a portable charger everywhere that you go. This specific one, it gives out 10,000 megahertz, so that's enough for like two full charges. And this one actually has two USB ports on it, so you can charge two things at once if you need. You can charge your phone, you can charge camera batteries, but just having this portable charger is a lifesaver. Genius Pack makes a really cool pocket that you can put into your carry-on luggage and just go ahead and plug it right into the luggage. So you, and then it's a, a removable pack, so you can take it in and out of the luggage and then move it to a backpack or move it to your pocket or move it to a jacket pocket, wherever. Yeah, having a portable charger is a lifesaver. So tip number three is to bring a mini umbrella with you everywhere you go. You never know when you're gonna run into inclement weather. I remember I was in New York and I took an Uber to meet up at a coffee shop. I ended up having to hop out a couple blocks early and I was caught in the rain. And if I would have just had an umbrella with me, it would have been a lifesaver. Yeah, I would say a mini umbrella, something I can fit in a carry-on, something that you can fit in a jacket pocket, a coat pocket. It's gonna be a lifesaver. Uh, of course, this one's from Genius Pack as well. And there's something really cool that I wanna show you about this real quick. A few moments later. If you get the Genius Pack backpack right here, it actually has a pocket on the inside that you can put the umbrella. So that's something really cool that I like about their products is they make pockets designed for things that you need. So they make pockets designed for chargers, they make pockets designed for this umbrella, laptops, iPads, all of those things. So tip number four is to have a TSA approved cologne bottle. So this one is from Travalo. Genius Pack actually sells it as well. But this is the TSA approved size. And basically how it works is you have this piece on the bottom that 
when you pull a cologne out, this is my favorite cologne. This is La Nuit de Lone by Yves Saint Laurent. And you open this, you take off the cap, and you stick the cologne right here, and you basically just pump it up and down. And that's how you fill up this bottle here. And you can take this with you and spray it. The reason I love this is because you can put your favorite cologne in here and you don't have to worry about packing a whole bottle because if you go through security and you bring your favorite cologne bottle and it's over three milliliters, they're gonna toss it. So you just put it in one of these TSA approved little cologne sprayers and you got your favorite cologne with you and this will last you probably 90 sprays, maybe 120 sprays. That will easily last you seven to 14 days wherever you're going. Tip number five is actually a style tip. Wear Chelsea boots to the airport. The reason I often tell guys to wear Chelsea boots is you have to wait in security line. Most guys like to stay stylish when they're traveling. Instead of rocking you know, slides or flip flops or tennis shoes, Chelsea boots are a really stylish and efficient way to just slip the shoes off, throw them right back on. So tip number six is to bring a dop kit that has a hanger on it. The reason is, I don't know if you've ever been to an Airbnb or, or a hotel and you go up to the counter and it's like, I can't, I can only fit my toothbrush on this thing. Like you like, you try to set a dop kit down on it and it's falling into the toilet or it's falling on the ground. What I do is just have a dop kit that has a hanger on it and you can just utilize the air, but chances are there's gonna be some sort of rack that you can hang this on and all of a sudden you have your organ Organizing your drop kit, you can access all of your things. You save counter space in the bathroom, and it's just much easier to pack your things, to unpack your things, and get access to them when you're in the bathroom. So this was a game changer for me. So tip number seven is Velcro straps, and I'll show you what I mean. Damn it, this thing won't focus. How do you focus on this? So these Velcro straps here, I use to keep my cords organized. You can get a pack of, I don't know, like 100 from Home Depot for like on Amazon for like 15 bucks, but these are really efficient. So tip number eight is to avoid any spills into your dop kit. You place plastic wrap over something that you're worried is gonna spill. So for example, I bring beard oil with me when I travel. I had a problem one time where there was a slight leak. So I took a small piece of plastic wrap, I undid the cap, put the plastic wrap over it, and screwed the cap back on, and it doesn't leak. You'll be spill free wherever you're going. So tip number nine is to have a luggage lock. If you're at a point where you actually do have to check a bag, this will just keep your bag safe. The reason that I love the Genius Pack bags is because they have a luggage lock built right into it. You can just press this here and it unlocks, or if you want to lock it back, lock it right here, and then you can just change the code to whatever you want it to be, and it'll lock for you and it's built in. So tip number 10 is to have a carry-on or a personal item with a trolley slit right here. And that just allows you to slide it onto your carry-on luggage and you don't have to carry anything on your back. It just makes traveling so much easier. I travel with a lot of stuff in a backpack. Just walking a long distance, it can get really heavy. So having the ability to just slide it on to my carry-on is a game changer and I can just roll that wherever I'm going. So those are the 10 essential items that I carry with me every time I go somewhere. If you have any tips of your own that you drop them in the comments and let me know what those are. And until then, I'll see you in the next video, guys. Peace.